Alrighty, good Thursday evening, everyone. It's 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here. We had a busy afternoon as expected. Now, as expected, not everyone had heavy thunderstorms, but those who did have heavy thunderstorms probably experienced some large hail and some strong winds as well. Hail was uh, kind of our big story earlier on today. As of this recording, things are quieting down. The severe thunderstorm watch has been discontinued, and uh, that's something we talked about all afternoon, that the original expiration time of 9 o'clock uh, would uh, change as they would discontinue that watch as the severe weather threat diminished. The last of the watch now down towards the Interstate 70 corridor as of about 7.12 p.m. All right, as I mentioned, hail was the number one story. We had a few different hail swaths today, one in extreme northern Trumbull, but the more significant one started just south of Cortland and then really picked up in western PA, and that swath of hail continued throughout central and into eastern parts of Mercer County, particularly hard hit the transfer area, uh, other parts of western Mercer County, especially just north of Sharon. We got a lot of pictures and videos in, including this one. I believe this was from Transfer, um, showing the destructive hail. I mean, we had hail at least the size of golf balls in some parts of Mercer County earlier on today. And thanks to everyone who submitted pictures and videos of not only the hail, but uh, some isolated tree damage. And we had some pretty cool clouds late this afternoon as well. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media outlets to check out the variety of pictures that I passed along that we received today. I passed them along on my Instagram, on Twitter, and on Facebook as well. If you're not following me on Facebook, make sure you search for Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm. And I don't have it graphically here, but on YouTube, you might be watching this video on YouTube, uh, make sure you subscribe to all my YouTube uh, videos so that uh, you can be notified and always see the newest ones. All right, hail again, big story today. And you know, we don't live in a particularly hail prone part of the country. Sometimes we see hail and thunderstorms, but it's usually kind of the pea sized stuff, the, kind of the, what I like to say, what I like to call conversational hail. The kind of hail that eh, it's kind of cool to look at, but it's not going to cause any damage in most cases. But every now and again, conditions are just right that we pick up some decent sized hail. How does this happen? Well, Frozen water droplets are swept up by big updrafts, rising air and thunderstorms. Additional layers of ice form each time it's swept up, and, the, and those updrafts penetrate the freezing level, so you get up into air that is below freezing. Eventually, gravity wins, and those hailstones start falling, and they can't be lifted back up by the updrafts because they're just too heavy, and they fall all the way to the uh, ground. And uh, today's hail sizes were impressive. We have seen some pictures of at least two inch diameter hail. But big changes are ahead. We're going to put the severe weather behind us this evening. No more severe weather until maybe the middle of next week. I'm looking at next Wednesday as a possible day for some heavy, gusty storms. And we're going to say goodbye to these kinds of dew points for at least a few days. Our dew point locally is still 70, but Detroit, 53. Grand Rapids, 54. Look at Chicago, much, much better at 49. That's the air mass that's coming our way as we head towards the weekend. Wall to wall sunshine for our Friday. Now it's going to look and feel like summer on Friday. It's going to be in the lower 80s. Warm day. Pretty typical for this time of the year, but it's not going to be as tropical and oppressive and just miserable in uh, in uh, the area throughout the course of the day on Friday. And then secondary cold front arrives Friday night into Saturday morning. A band of clouds with that, and then just sunshine in abundance in the afternoon. What a picture. Perfect afternoon and evening on Saturday. Now, by Saturday evening, if you're out for a walk or something like that, 8, 9, p 10 p.m., you might need a jacket, believe it or not. Uh, leave the windows open. Get some fresh air this weekend. Just beautiful weather continues into Father's Day coming up on Sunday. Speaking of Father's Day, it'll be just a little bit warmer on Sunday after 69 degrees Saturday, 72 on Sunday with a few fair weather high cirrus clouds in the mix. Big changes are ahead, though, next week. This uh, respite is not going to last very long, as it typically doesn't at this time of the year. After all, summer officially begins, astronomical summer anyway, coming up on Tuesday. That first day of the season will be noticeably warmer and more humid as temperatures get into the 80s, the heat index approaching 90, and then Wednesday, 97 degrees for a heat index, and that may be a little bit conservative depending on cloud cover and the coverage of any thunderstorms. So we've got some heat ahead of us for next week, but we've also got a great weekend to enjoy and relax. And it'll be nice for me not to have to look at the weather much this weekend after a couple of pretty busy uh, days, pretty big opportunities for severe weather this week. Monday nights didn't materialize in our viewing area, but it sure did not far to our west. 
And today, it did materialize in some places. Some places had some pretty significant severe thunderstorms. Have a great rest of your Thursday night, everyone. Have a great Friday and a great weekend. I'll see you back here for the next edition of Weather for Weather Geeks on Monday.